Okay, now I'm planning to make pineapple, homemade pineapple soda. So now I'm preparing the base, which is the pineapple, pineapple flavored base. So I boiled just pineapple peels. No cost at all. These are all the, the remnants after having eaten all the pineapple. Now I have all the peels. So I boiled it for one hour to get all the flavor from the peels and from the core. And the next step is I will have to strain the liquid so that I don't get all, I don't get particles. I will have a clearer liquid for as base for my pineapple soda. Why do I strain it? Because you see, uh, the pineapple has a lot of fiber. And since this is the peel, obviously some other... Can you see that? It's kind of blurred and it has particles floating. So I, wanted, I want to strain all that. Since I don't have a cheesecloth, a piece of cheesecloth, I'm using face towel. but quite new, really new. I'm just using it for this. Usually, you should use cheesecloth, but I don't have cheesecloth. So I'm using a face towel, a thin one like this, and this is new. It's not used for, for the face or for, for taking a bath, so I bought it just for this purpose. will be converted into alcohol by the yeast that are present now in this liquid. Now I'm adding the sugar. Sugar to sweetness to taste. So it's according to your to how sweet you want it to be. As I'm starting with two cups. More. It needs more. I have to taste if it has enough pineapple flavor. It does, but it's a bit sour. But I, you really have to add sugar. Now, more sweetness according to your taste. There's no proportion. It's according to your taste. So preferably really sweet because you need that sugar for the fermentation, which I will explain later. We'll mix the ginger bottle with our pineapple liquid base. Soda, in principle, in three days. So this is fermented ginger with sugar. Now I will have to strain and get the liquid because I will only use the liquid. Ginger bog with my pineapple liquid base, sweet and pineapple. Just remember, everything has to be now. It's very important to only use plastic or glass in this part of the procedure, not any more metal, because the ginger bog reacts to the metal and it might kill the useful bacteria. And okay, what is the proportion? One liter of liquid. One fourth a cup of the ginger bottle. And that's one liter. And this is one fourth cup. 
kamu. Please take note that now my liquid is lukewarm or cold. You cannot, you cannot add the ginger bulb to a very hot liquid because the heat and the bacteria will die. So you have to, you have to let your liquid cool down. So now. I use recycled soda bottles, plastic, because it will help you determine when the liquid, when the soda is ready. You will see it later. soda now the fermentation will create carbon dioxide inside it will become carbonated and it will expand so this space is for the gas to be formed now I close it and then now you can see it still has space you can even you can even you can pinch the bottle after two to three days you can't do that anymore because it will it will harden up and it means your soda is 